As a Man Thinketh by James Allen Summarized by Steve Courage and voiced by Uyo Uyo I remember the first time I won a large sum of money. It was for a reading competition. The day I first saw the poster, I had stared at it for a really long time. I had no money and my family was going through a major financial crisis. As I read the poster, I imagined myself winning the competition. I read through each step and visualized myself moving from stage to stage to win the final prize. I registered for the competition, participated and, you guessed right, I won the grand prize. When I stood on the podium to receive that prize, it felt surreal like I was acting an already written script. That was the day I learned the power of visualization. I learned how important it is to always keep your mind on your goal. And this is the first major lesson from the book As a Man Thinketh. Focus your thoughts on the goals. By the way, if this is your first time on our channel, welcome and consider subscribing because will help you to discover secrets of success from the world's best books and great people. Let's move to the second lesson. I know a young man who graduated from the university and was finding it difficult to get a job. His parents advised him to start a small business but the young man complained he had no capital. They offered to give him a small loan so he could get started but the young man argued that businesses started on small capital hardly ever succeed. The young man told stories of all the people he knew who had failed to pay back their bank loans and had lost all their possessions. In the end, the young man did nothing but continued to apply for jobs while some of his friends went ahead to take risks and get things done with their lives. The lesson here is, negativity is a trap. It keeps you from moving forward, from taking chances, from even making an attempt and it all starts with your thoughts. Remember how I visualized winning the competition? I could have also visualized the negative. If I had channeled my thoughts repeatedly to the possibility that I could fail, I probably wouldn't have won. Your life is nothing but the sum of the quality of your thoughts. As you think, so you become. The second lesson from As the Man Thinketh is, be optimistic, weed negative out of your life. Overcoming negative thoughts is important but the fastest way to do that is by taking deliberate positive actions. Have you ever had a really bad day? You wake up in the morning with a headache, feeling grumpy and generally sad. Then you step out for the day's activities and find that everything turns out to be a complete disaster and by the end of the day, all you just want to do is crawl into bed and see if you wake up on a better side the next day. Relatable, huh? Bad days are normal. We all have bad days once in a while. What is not normal is living every day as a bad day and chances are you may know one of those people who dwell in perpetual self-created misery. They complain on end about everything, school work, how bad their job is, how horrible their life is and you hold your breath when you are around them, wondering the next thing they would complain about. They are always victims. It is easy to play victim and blame the world around you for all your woes. What's harder is getting up to change something about the bad situation. It could be finding an alternative power source since the general source is erratic or keeping the corridors clean because you don't like how unkept it looks. Whatever the situation, it is much more effective to focus your thoughts on how can I improve the situation rather than how could this happen to me. Stop seeing yourself as a victim. Start seeing yourself as a hero. The third lesson from As Man Thinketh is, participate in building the world around you. Don't play the victim. In my part of the world, students' examinations results are sometimes posted on a board called exam notice board. If you have ever been at an exam notice board when students' results are released, you may have noticed an interesting trend. Students who perform well would often claim ownership of their success and make statements like, I had an A, I had a B. However, students who perform badly would often say, I was given a F, they gave me a F. 
Our default reaction towards failure is often to distance ourselves from it. We claim our success but are very critical of our failures. And this process starts in the mind. What happens is this. Every time you come up with a reason to blame your failure on other people, you teach your mind to be lazy. A lazy mind does not want to make improvements. And with time, your head becomes a bank of excuses. Next time you fail at something, rather than think up a million excuses about why the failure was not your fault, try to think in the direction of what can I do better? Nobody owes you anything and nobody determines what you become. The more you blame someone else for your failure, the deeper you go in the path of failure. The fourth lesson from As Man Thinketh is take responsibility for your failures. Did you know that a human being is a bag of thoughts? Everything you do from the point you wake up in the morning to the point you retire to bed is inspired by your thoughts. Imagine a human being who cannot think. Difficult, right? Thinking drives us as human beings. It is how we make major decisions. It is how we understand the world around us by constantly analyzing and making inferences. And that is why the wrong kind of thinking can destroy our lives. Living in negativity not only stops our personal growth, it affects our health too. And this is the fifth lesson from James Allen's As Man Thinketh. To live a healthy, fulfilled life, adopt positive thinking. Now, let's discuss. What lessons do you think I missed in this book? What points would you like to add? Which other good books would you like our team to summarize next? We love to receive your comments. If you love this summary, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. And if you've not subscribed to our channel, subscribe now and turn on the notification because we will help you discover secrets of success from the world's best books and great people. Kindly check the description box to download our free book titled 13 Secrets School Did Not Teach You About How To Be Rich.